RF Logins Ministry, a ministry that is engaged in making disciples of Jesus Christ with a message of mercy from the Master, equipping the whole church with the whole gospel in order to reach the whole world, equipping people to equip people to be disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ who are filled with the love of God and who are moved by the power of prayer. So welcome again to our Floggins Ministries. Uh, today I want to focus on one specific fragment of a text that has multifaceted application to the hearts of believers. And that is from the second writing of the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, uh, chapter number 3 and verse 17b. And what it does here, it exposes for us an incredible opportunity to look at the heart of God in a very unique and dynamic way in light of the culture and the climate of the conditions to which we deal with today. And I'm going to focus on that latter portion of that text that speaks truth to the issues of these divisiveness and the attitude that is being perpetrated by the culture today that is dividing the body of Christ, dividing ethnicities, that's causing African Americans and Anglo Saxons and people of other ethnic to be divided. And God is calling us to a better place. And that better place provides us the aspect of liberty. So I want to focus on the word liberty to be to be liberal, to be liberal, not in the sense of liberal to do what we want to do, but to have the liberty to do what God has instructed us to do. And the text reads in this matter in the B section of that third chapter of 2 Corinthians uh, to the church at Corinth and verse 17b. And this is what it says, wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for the grace that you provide that's abundant. We thank you for the opportunity of experiencing the liberty of God. And we pray through the power of the Lord Jesus Christ that you give us that liberty that set the captives free. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. One for the Father one for his son and one for his precious Holy Spirit. So once again, 2 Corinthians, uh, dealing with that third with that uh, third with the third chapter and unpacking, if you will, the, the, the very heart and nature that relates to what God says to us in the verse 17 to be section, 2 Corinthians. And this is what it says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There's liberty. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there's freedom. Notice, if you will, that the word Spirit is capitalized. It is capital, which means the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit of God came in Acts chapter 2. When the Spirit of God came in Acts 2, the Bible said it filled the whole house where they were sitting. So God took all these different uh, ethnes, these different groups, Parmenians, Medes, residents of Mesopotamia, all the various individual differences, and he brought them together under one promise, and that's the promise, the epangelia, the promise that was sent to them through the power of God that brought them to be one in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it is only through Christ that we will be able to be brought together to be one in Christ. And when we find that koinonia, that, that common connection with that common bond, as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, God has called us to bring people into that unity, unity circle. The closer we get to Christ, the more unity we find in our relationship with each other. So wherever the Spirit of God is, wherever God shows up and His Holy Spirit is present, there is a unity, there is a, a liberty, there is a freedom, there is a joy, there is a peace that passes all understanding. And my prayer today is that each of us would seek to enter deeper into the presence of God. The first realm as we go, number one, to get to know God. Number two, to experience the presence of God. Number three, to embrace the power of God. And then number four, to get in the very center, to live in the peace of God and the liberality of his authority that we invite others to go deeper and deeper and deeper into his presence. 
that we experience a peace that passes all understanding for those hearts who have been captured by the nature and the character of the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, our Vloggers Ministry is a ministry that is concerned with making disciples of Jesus Christ. It is a ministry of equipping the whole church with the whole gospel to reach the whole world, equipping people to equip people to make disciples of Jesus Christ. And as we make disciples, we do that with through the power of the love of God and embraced by the foundation of prayer that we are praying people and we want others to experience that power of his love as we enter into the liberty, the freedom, the dignity of a sovereign God and to change this community and this world to which we end that is so divisive, ethnicic, through the various ethnic cultures and backgrounds that we are now one in the person of Jesus Christ. God bless you, God keep you, and we're excited that you're part of this ministry that equips the saints for the work of the ministry, that we are one in the person of Jesus Christ. God bless you, God keep you. Father, thank you so much for the liberty we have that we are one people under Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Praise God.